I am Ekaterina Curry with S&P Structured Finance. Standard & Poor's Rating Services recently assigned its A1 rating to Kafka Capital Corporation's 240 million commercial paper notes. Today, we will discuss S&P's analytical approach to rating these notes. The issuer of the notes, Kafka Capital Corporation, is authorized to issue up to 240 million US dollars in discount and secured commercial paper notes with a maturity of up to 270 days. The notes will not be redeemable prior to maturity. The notes are supported by a 240 million irrevocable direct pay letter of credit from Bank of China, New York branch. Kafka Capital Corporation, the issuer, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Kafka Corporation. The proceeds of the notes will be used for general corporate purposes of Kafka Corporation, which is part of the Kafka Group. The Kafka Group is a large global Fortune 500 company with diverse businesses, including agriculture and food industry. Although the Kafka company is rated A- by S&P, we are not relying on its credit rating as the notes are structured with Bank of China support. The issuing and paying agent, as well as depository for the notes, is Bank of America NA. The depository is responsible for issuing and monitoring the notes and will make the necessary drawings under the letter of credit to pay the notes at their maturity. This is the first letter of credit backed commercial paper program that we rate at SNP New York, with Bank of China providing support. Joining me today is my colleague, Mindy Xu. Mindy, what does the rating of the notes reflect? The A1 short-term rating reflects our opinion of the credit and liquidity support that Bank of China New York branch provides to the notes in the form of the letter of credit, or ROC. Under the ROC, Bank of China fully supports all CP notes payment obligations until notes maturity. We concluded that the rating on the notes is based on the ratings on the Bank of China as letter of credit provider and the United States, the jurisdiction in which the branch of ROC provider is located. Can you explain why the U.S. rating factors into the methodology? Our criteria view branch of foreign banks as being exposed to the risk of the jurisdiction in which they are located. So in this case, the U.S. rating becomes part of our rating methodology. Mindy, what factors may cause changes to the rating of the notes in the future? Changes to our rating on the CP notes can result from, among other things, changes to our rating on the LLC provider or amendments to the trans transaction's terms. We will maintain a rating on the notes as long as the LLC has not expired or otherwise terminated. If either of these conditions changes, we will likely withdraw our rating on the notes. And finally, what is the outlook for Bank of China? As published by our financial institution analyst in December 2013, the stable outlook on Bank of China primarily reflects the stable outlook on the long-term sovereign credit rating on China, rated AA minus A1+. The outlook also reflects our expectation that Bank of China will maintain its stand-alone credit profile and that the likelihood of extraordinary government support for the bank will remain very high. Thanks, Mindy. For more information on this transaction, please see our published rationale on S&P's credit portal. This has been Credit Matters TV. Thanks for watching.